you are familiar with the pythagoras theorem you had verified this theorem through some activities now we shall prove this theorem using the concept of similarity of triangles for this we make use of the following result if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right triangle to the hypotenuse then the triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and to each other take a right edge triangle abc having right angle at b consider a line segment pd perpendicular to hypotenuse ac from the triangle adb and triangle abc we get angle a is common in triangle adb in triangle abc and as bd is perpendicular to ac and triangle abc having right angle at b so we get the angles adb and angles abc are equal therefore the triangles adb and triangles abc are similar by the property of asa angle side angle similarly it is same with triangles bdc and triangle abc therefore from the above it is clear that the two triangles on both sides of the perpendicular bd are similar to the whole triangle abc also since triangle adb is similar to the triangle abc and triangle bdc is similar to triangle abc therefore triangle adb is similar to triangle bdc this guides to following theorem attempt the following question you can click solution tab to verify your answer for right angle triangle at least one of its measurements must be an even number why solution it can be observed that a pythagorean triple always consists of all even numbers and two odd numbers and an even number a pythagorean triple can never be made up of all odd numbers or two even numbers and one odd number this is true because one the square of an odd number is an odd number and the square of an even number is even number two the sum of two even numbers is an even number and the sum of an odd number and an even number is in odd number therefore if one of a and b is odd and the other is even c would have to be odd similarly if both a and b or even c would be an even number 2 the following theorem was earlier found by an early indian mathematician baudayan about 800 bc in the following form the diagonal of a rectangle produces by itself the same area as produced by its both sides that is length and breadth So sometimes this theorem is also referred to as the Baudayan theorem. What about the converse of the above theorem? We again prove it like a theorem as done earlier. Here, Pythagoras theorem states that in a right triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squared of the other two sides. Given that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle, where angle B is 90 degree. We need to prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Construction: Draw PD perpendicular to AC. Let us prove. Since triangle ADB and ABC are similar, we write as equation one, which is shown on screen. And also triangles BDC and ABC are similar. Therefore, we write as equation two. which is shown on screen now add equation 1 and 2 then we get thus ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square 